for homeowners. Good evening. I'm Bram Resnick. Real estate agents in the Valley are accusing mortgage giant Fannie Mae of inflating the prices of their homes for sale. That means you can be pushed to pay above market value to buy a house. And if you're trying to short sell to avoid foreclosure, you risk having the whole deal fall through. Our real estate watchdog, Melissa Blasius, is looking into those allegations. Melissa? Graham, pretty much everyone in the Valley wants to see home prices keep rising, but no one wants to overpay if they're buying, and that has a lot of distressed homeowners with Fannie Mae loans feeling stuck. Tom Merkowitz was at his breaking point this month. Actually, I told him they could take the house and stick it at this point in time. You see, Tom and his wife were trying to short sell this West Valley house. A buyer had offered $107,000, but mortgage owner Fannie Mae, through servicer GMAC, counteroffered at $118,500. They later dropped it to $115,000, and the buyer accepted. Done deal, right? Nope. Real estate agent Rachel Babinchek says she received a last-minute counteroffer of $142,000. I had to pick my jaw up off the floor. I assumed it was a typo. It was just absolutely well over any rational market value. But she says GMAC insisted through its online short sale software that Fannie Mae had ordered this way higher price. Over the last few days, several real estate agents across the valley have reported to Call 12 Real Estate that the mortgage giant is jacking up counteroffers on short sales, destroying deals that could keep families' homes off the auction block. And Fannie insists on trying to get 15, 20, 25 percent more, or they, they'll just foreclose on the house. Fannie Mae defended its pricing in a statement saying, as home prices have rebounded, we have been able to achieve higher prices for both REO and short sales. If an offer doesn't reflect the value of a home, a counter offer can be expected. It is best for the community and for the taxpayer that homes are sold at the appropriate value. So when I asked them specifically about the Merkowitz's house, Fannie Mae's spokeswoman said huh, they had no record of the $142,000 price. So they sent this letter agreeing to a final price of $116,000. And all of a sudden, I'll be darned. Everything is wonderful. It means that they won't have to have a foreclosure after all of this. So they deserve it. So Fannie Mae indicating what happened to this couple was some kind of fluke and that its pricing is in line with market value. However, there are still a lot of real estate agents who say that Fannie Mae is wanting too much for homes in the Valley. If you feel like Fannie Mae is wanting too much for your house, email me at realestate at 12news.com. Also tonight, I wanted to update you on the mortgage settlement, the national mortgage settlement. The Arizona Attorney General's office tells me that a third-party administrator recently sent out important postcards to, in the last couple of weeks to thousands of former homeowners. There are people who were foreclosed on from 2008 to th 2011 whose mortgages were owned by Bank of America, Chase, Wells Fargo, Citibank, or GMAC Ally. That postcard will be followed up by a packet to make a claim under the National Mortgage Settlement. The AG's office wants you to know these are legit, not junk mail, and you could qualify for a payment of a couple thousand dollars. Bram?